Hey everyone, for today's video, we'll be taking a look at an AM5 Micro ATX motherboard that sports the mid-range AMD B650 chipset, the ASUS Tuf Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi. Sporting support for the latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors, let's have a look at this board to see if it's any good. Now the Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi that we have here today, as its name implies, sports the mid-range AMD B650 chipset and sits within the Tough Gaming series of motherboard offerings targeted at gamers on a budget, where it places below the ROG Crosshair and ROG Strix series of boards, and above the value-oriented Prime series of motherboard offerings by ASUS. In keeping with the design language of the Tough Gaming series of products, the B650M Plus Wi-Fi comes in a box sporting a silver on black colour scheme, with touches of yellow thrown in for contrast. Moving over to the rear of the box, we get the usual summary of specs for this board. We'll take a closer look at these specs later on in this video. On a side note, if you're new to the AOK Tech channel, do consider subscribing so as to keep up to date with the latest product releases in the PC hardware world. Opening up the box, we see that the Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi comes with a Wi-Fi antenna right here. Now let's set aside the board for now to see what other accessories ASUS has included with it. First up, we get two SATA 3 cables, and these are accompanied by a pack of M.2 drive screws and standoffs. We do also get a pack of M.2 drive rubber pads that add additional height clearance for single-sided M.2 drives. We also get a motherboard manual and an accompanying DVD driver disc. We do also get a quick start guide right here, a certificate of reliability that shows the battery of tests that some of the components on this board have been subjected to, as well as an ASUS Web Storage Promotional Offer leaflet, and this is rounded off by a sheet of Tough Gaming stickers. Onto the board itself, ASUS has gone for a black and grey colour scheme with touches of yellow, and as you can see, Military-like motifs are a plenty, which are very much in line with the Tough Gaming brand identity. The board comes with an integrated IO shield design and has black coloured heatsinks all around. Do note that this board does not come with any built-in RGB LEDs of any sort, though it does of course come with plenty of RGB headers for you folks out there intending to spice up your PC build with RGB bling. I'll talk about these headers later on in this video. The VRM heatsinks for this board are pretty large, and ASUS has included 12 plus 2 power stages that are rated for up to 60 amps each. Unlike the range-topping AMD X670E chipset, the B650 has a single chipset design, and the said chipset sits beneath this passive heatsink right here, with the Tough Gaming emblem emblazoned on it. For M.2 drive cooling, ASUS has got you covered with M.2 drive heatsinks for the two M.2 drive slots that this board comes with. Over on the rear of the board, we get some subtle tough gaming motifs which I suppose are a nice touch, in spite of the fact that most of these motifs would likely never see the light of day once the board is installed inside of a PC case. For memory support, the tough gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi comes with 4 DDR5 slots with support for up to 128GB of RAM and the DDR5 6400 Plus standard when overclocked with plastic slots of a single tab design that ASUS calls QDIM. It also features AMD's Expo technology, which are basically built-in overclocking profiles for DDR5 memory, similar to what XMP stands for in Intel's ecosystem. Near the RAM slots is a USB 3.2 Gen 1 front panel header, which provides support for up to two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports as well as a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C front panel header. While still on the topic of front panel USB connectivity, the bottom edge of the board houses two USB 2.0 front panel headers, with each header providing support for two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. Some interesting features to highlight, we get a Thunderbolt add-on card header with this board, which is to be used in conjunction with a Thunderbolt add-on card that is sold separately by ASUS. Moving on, 
We also get a serial port header right here, which I suppose is useful for situations that call for the use of legacy PC peripherals. Moving up top, we also get a set of QLEDs that can help with troubleshooting PC startup issues. In terms of expansion slots, this board comes with a PCIe 4.0 x16 slot that sports the ASUS Safe Slot Core Plus feature that reinforces the slot against heavy graphics cards. We do also get a PCIe 4.0 x1 slot as well as a full length PCIe 4.0 x16 slot that operates at x4 mode. In the storage department, ASUS has included four SATA 3 ports with three ports in a right angle configuration so as to aid with cable management and one port in a straight angled configuration. For M.2 slots, the board comes with a PCIe 5.0 x4 M.2 slot as well as a PCIe 4.0 x4 M.2 slot. Do note that both these slots support NVMe M.2 drives only. SATA M.2 drives are not supported. That said, the M.2 slots come with the Q-Latch feature which facilitates the toolless installation of your M.2 SSDs. For audio, ASUS has included an entry-level Realtek ALC897 audio codec. Wired internet connectivity on the other hand is courtesy of a Realtek RTL8125BG chip that provides support for 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, while the board's wireless capability is powered by MediaTek's MT7921 Wi-Fi 6 part, which also serves up Bluetooth 5.2 support. In the cooling and RGB departments, the board comes with six fan headers which are located in these regions of the board. Also included are three addressable RGB headers as well as a single 12 volt standard RGB header located right here. Moving over to the rear I.O., the Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi goes for an integrated I.O. shield design and it comes with a DisplayPort 1.4 connector supporting display output of up to 8K resolution at 60Hz, a HDMI 2.1 port that supports display output of up to 4K resolution at 60Hz, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, 4 USB 2.0 Type-A ports with this port here supporting the BIOS flashback feature, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C port, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, Wi-Fi antennae connectors, a BIOS flashback button that allows end users to update the board's BIOS without a CPU, RAM or graphics card installed, as well as your usual audio jack connectors. With that, the ASUS Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi is a pretty balanced mid-range AM5 motherboard that's targeted at gamers, where I can see this board being used with CPUs such as the upcoming Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and so on. It sports enough features that matter in a modern PC, such as PCIe 5.0 support for a M.2 drive, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, as well as a decent looking gamer oriented aesthetic. I do wish though that ASUS had included a Wi Fi 6E module instead of Wi Fi 6, as even the low end motherboards of today do come with Wi Fi 6E modules as standard. As of March 2023, the Tough Gaming B650M Plus Wi-Fi is available in Singapore for a price of around 393 Singapore dollars through offline and online retailers, while for you international folks, this board can be had for around 230 US dollars from e-commerce sites such as Amazon. With that, thank you so much for watching, hit the like button and get subscribed if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys around the next time.